Good morning, and welcome to Opinions from Mary. This is a very sad video um, because, let me turn you around here, I am going to be doing home treatments for a puppy that was given to me that has parvo. And this is very horrible disease. Yes, there was blood in his diarrhea, and he has not eaten for five days. Um, yeah, so we're force feeding him putting fluids underneath, and we're going to keep him alive. And here's my little guy right here. Named him Royal. Oh, he is so sick. Let me show you the medication. Um, I took him to the vet, and it's very expensive, as you know, for a vet to do this treatment. So I opted to do it at home. Of course, it was a physical exam. Then they gave me a bag of the subcutaneous fluids. That's this bag right here. Sorry, walking around to show you. Okay, so anyway, it's this bag right here. And um, I'm going to be giving injections to him. The recommendation is 150 milligrams every day. And I based, I looked up on Google how much he needed. And he's only 20 pounds. He was 35 when I got him. That's how much weight he's lost in the last almost a week. Anyway, um... We're going to get them better, though. Google says that for every pound, there should be an ounce of fluid daily. And it turns out that if you did the math where a dog gets anywhere from a half an ounce to a one ounce per pound of weight, if for a full pound, he should be getting 600 um, milliliters. Uh, but the bag that was prescribed to me said 150. So I don't understand the disparity. As far as I'm concerned, the more fluid I get in them, the better. All right, anyway, so subcutaneous fluids. Then I'm going to show you how to put those in as soon as I explain what's going on here. Then they did an injection, C-E-R-E-N-I-A, Serenia, uh, 10 milligrams um, for anyone under 55 pounds. I do not know what that is. I don't know if it's an antibiotic or whatever, but um, if you look it up, maybe you can find out. C-E-R-E-N-I-A. And that was something that the vet had to give. I couldn't come home with it. Okay, then famotidine, F-A-M-O-T-I-D-N-E. Actually, let me show you if you could read what I'm trying to read here. Maybe pause the video and get all those names. All right, that is an antacid. And I just went down to... Um, the pharmacy and got a generic package of this brand and he only needs 10 milligrams but they only had 20 milligram capsules so I cut them in half and they're very small but that's okay he's gonna get that and he gets that every 12 hours with food um, and with the food I just take a little bit of bread and just wrap it around the pill so it's not just pure peel going into them then with that he also gets metradidazinol M-E-T-R-O-N-I-D-A-Z-O-L-E. -E, and it's a 250 milligram tablet. And um, they want me to give them half of that tablet every 12 hours. So 125 milligrams of metronidazole. M-E-T-R-O-N-I-D-A-Z-O-L-E. -E. And that is an antibiotic, which is important because when this blood is going, come, you know, because of the colon, it's coming, um, that leads to septic, 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 the bad bacteria getting in the bloodstream that kills them. That's what kills them. So you got to get them on antibiotics. And that is the antibiotic that was prescribed. So M-E-T-R-O-N-I-D-A-Z-O-L-E. -E. So we're combating loss of fluids, no nutrition because no food, and this bacteria getting in to take over what this horrible parvovirus is doing. Um, then um, here's probiotics that they gave me. And what it is, is it's some gooey stuff, um, like a paste that I put in his mouth. Here's the paste thing. And, um, and a pill. Now, I was told to make, and I give this every 12 hours. So a pill every 12 hours, some of this paste every 12 hours. And um, I, I cannot allow this 
to be given within two hours of the antibiotic, the metrodazinol. So the pro, pro viable forte combo kit for cats and small dogs, it's a 15 milliliter paste and some capsules. That is the probiotic to help his um, intestinal system develop the good bacteria. And basically that's pretty much what the vet gave. So now we're gonna go, oh, okay. For nutrition, not much they could do except try to get some food into him. So I went and got some Pedialyte, and he hates that, and I asked why. Um, because it's so salty to him, I didn't even stop to think. So I was told to dilute that 50-50 with water, so it's not as salty. And also to get nourishment in him, I went and I bought baby food, um, broccoli, green beans, peas, carrots, and rice thinking that's the highest uh, nutritional value that would be good for a dog, but he didn't like that either. So the vet told me the best thing I could give him is mush chicken. So I boiled chicken. Here you see the mush. And I feed everything is being fed to him now with um, an eyedropper where I put that in the mush chicken and then put it in his mouth and squeeze it out so some goes into him. And he can't take very much, so I have to as often as possible, try to get food into him so he's getting nourishment without overloading him. Because if I give him too much, for him, it's just started out just one of these, okay, was too much. And yes, last night, knock on wood, I was able to get two of them in and he didn't throw it all up. So today I'm going to go for three at a time. But still, I try to just put it in him as often as I can. And then I also took an old syringe that I had, took the needle off, and for like water, you know, it's a good to suck up water, get fluids into his mouth, and squirt it out too. So I tried using my finger, you know, to put this paste, this paste stuff in, and some mushy chicken, and ended up getting scratched because of his teeth with him biting down. So anyway, let us get a little royal and show you how I'm going to do this injection. Okay, I'm going to put you here for a second while I get the puppy. Okay, come on, bro. Time for an injection. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Okay, so here we go. Here's this sweet little puppy. Now, what I was told was take the needle, and this is what I've been doing, and pull up on the skin, so like right here you can see, and then push the needle inside and um, hold it there. And then what happens is they end up like with a golf ball because the fluid fills up. But that's okay because at least fluid is getting into him because he can't drink it. So it's better to get any kind of fluid. And he's been getting, it's been working better. He hasn't been vomiting and... Oh my gosh, after a day, the blood went away, not come wood, I hope it doesn't come back, but the blood went away in his, um, not, and that's not stool, it's diarrhea, it's liquid, but it's not blood anymore. So, and now he's looking up at me, hello, sweet pea, we're going to get you, yes, yes, we are. Anyway, that's it. Um, so ask the vet, I, I don't know where to get these bags at, but ask the vet how to do it. For me, I will show you, here's the bag. I squeeze to get this to drip out. And there's a, a seal here to keep it, that's the shut off, you just slide it down. And then here's another one, it's another shut off, it's a prevention. So you, know, just, you just roll this back so that the fluid goes through and comes out the needle into his body. Um, anyway, it's pretty simple. But I, like I said, I was prescribed 150 cc's, which is milliliters, 150 milliliters every day. And they gave me a bag, which is 1,000 milliliters. I am just trying to get as much fluid into him without putting a basketball on the back of his neck, kind of keeping it golf ball size, knowing those fluids are in there, because some of it leaks out too anyway. Anyway, you know, through the hole from the needle. Um, and then doing it not... <laughs> not every few hours, but like every six hours, so that he gets as much fluid into him without I don't know, giving him like this huge goiter. Anyway, I hope that helps, and I hope your puppy ends up uh, healthy, and I know I'm doing everything I can for this. And also, I, I know prayers work, so um, 
if you are watching this video now, I'm sure you are doing it because you want prayers for your puppy. So I'm sending those out for you right now that your puppy gets healthy too. Yes, this is very sad. Okay? So my heart goes with you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And do know that with this treatment, if you stay with it, I know it takes a lot of commitment, that many puppies have recovered. Okay? So I'm going to get this one healthy, and yours will too. Bye now.